Which of these two boats will travel faster? In the one boat, the man is puffing and panting, putting in all of his effort to row his boat upstream. The waves are crashing up his boat and he has to put in all of his blood, sweat and tears into pushing the boat forward with all of his might. In the second boat, the man is seated peacefully. With his sails set, he lets the wind carry him upstream. Obviously, the second boat will not only travel faster, but it will travel further. And what's even better is that the man in the second boat will be able to do this without even putting in any effort. Have you ever noticed this in your own life? Some people seem to be able to achieve a million different things without even trying, making it look completely effortless. You find yourself struggling to do even one or two simple tasks and you have to really use all of your willpower and motivation just to do simple things and by the end of it, you feel totally drained. Up until now, you may have just attributed this to bad genetics. But what if I told you that there was something else at play? What if you could use the knowledge that I'm about to give you and use it to completely change your life trajectory? What if there was a way in which you could be more productive and achieve all of your goals faster than you ever thought possible without using any effort? That would be pretty incredible, right? In fact, it sounds too good to be true. Well, in the book Tao Te Ching, written in China at around 600 BC, Lao Tse talks about this concept of effortless action. He talks about why some people seem to struggle with being consistent and find themselves falling into really negative spirals, while others seem to be able to blast ahead almost effortlessly. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use this concept in your own life how you can achieve a state of effortless action to not only get ahead of all of your competition, but to enjoy a happier and more fulfilling life. This concept is what Lao Tse called Wu Wei. Wu Wei literally translates to non-doing or doing nothing. Now at first this may sound like a pretty negative thing, right? Almost like it's encouraging laziness. But in reality, what it means is non-forcing. Instead of trying to force yourself upstream in life, just let the stream of life take you in the direction that it's already heading. When I was a kid, I fell in love with movies. I wanted to make movies and even become an actor. However, as I grew older, I had family members and friends ask me what I really wanted to do or if I had a backup plan in case it didn't work out. Basically what they were telling me was that I didn't have what it took. <laughs> and I mean no harm towards my friends or family, okay? I know they were all really well intentioned, but nonetheless, this shook me. And so I decided, okay, clearly I'm not good enough as an actor. I've gotta be good enough by being smart. So I ended up going down a road of computer science instead in my teenage years. So I was studying maths, physics, and while some of it was interesting, I never did homeworks or did any of the necessary work because I just didn't have the natural interest. After school, instead of doing homework, I was literally watching screenwriting videos and for some reason it never occurred to me that, hey, maybe I should be studying this instead. It wasn't until I got to university that I realized I'd messed up. I had no interest in the subject and I was quickly falling behind in all of my classes. I was only studying computer science to try and conform to social norms instead of because I actually liked it. I had no real sense of identity outside of superficial things like partying or watching TV shows. And this caused me to not only be super unproductive, but to feel lost and even a little depressed. I was so desperate to fit in and feel good enough that I was literally sacrificing my own life for it. And ironically, Despite my efforts to make everyone like me, I was actually just causing everyone to lose respect for me. Lao Tse says in his book, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everyone will respect you. If you're in a position where you feel like you're behind in life, it's almost definitely because you haven't embraced Wu Wei. You haven't embraced a career that you naturally enjoy and that you can naturally work at without forcing yourself to. And let me tell you one thing right now. If you do not enjoy the work you're currently doing, you should not be doing it. Simple as that. Looking back, I heard this advice all the time, but I never really took it seriously. I always just thought it was a nice thing to tell people to follow their dreams. But in reality, everyone should just go to university, get a well-paying job, 
and work until retirement, living for the weekends, and maybe raising a family. But let's just break down the numbers of that real quick. Assuming you live in a developed country and you don't die from an out of the blue tragedy, you should live to around 82 years old. Now, we just have to subtract however old you are now from 82. Now let's say you're 22, seeing that that's generally whenever the working age starts. Chances are a lot of people watching this video will be a lot older or a lot younger, but if you want, you can work this out for yourself. Just do the exact same mathematics that I'm doing. So let's say you get an average of eight hours sleep per night. That's an extra 20 years of your life lost to sleep. And if you really don't like your work and you're only living for the weekends, well, with an average of 260 working days per year, that's 29 years lost doing work that you do not enjoy. Meaning if you're choosing to work at a career you don't like, that is three quarters of your life gone. That is terrifying. And not only that, but you probably won't even make as much money as you think. You see, the competition is fierce in every career, no matter what you choose. Because there's so many people in each career option, you're going to be competing against people who have harnessed Wu Wei, people who genuinely enjoy that career and generally just enjoy and can work at it effortlessly without trying, and therefore completely outperform you. You have to use all of your effort to try and row your boat upstream while they just sit back and let the Wu Wei wind carry them. It's not a fair fight. So despite the fact many, many people choose careers they don't enjoy for the money, those types of people not only live much less fulfilling lives, but they also don't even make as much money as they thought they would. However, while money can certainly be a factor for some, for the majority of the people watching this video, money is just a smokescreen. There are much deeper reasons for you not following your dreams or a career that you enjoy. This reason is usually fear of judgment. I'm willing to bet the majority of people watching this video are not doing work that they enjoy or are even just curious about because they fear being judged. Judged for feeling, judged for not being good enough, or even just being judged for doing something weird. So you're either attempting to work at a job that you think will gain you respect, even if you don't like it, or you've been so entirely crippled by this fear of judgment that you're actually just going no direction with your career. I was only studying computer science because I thought it was going to gain me likability and respect from other people because I wasn't doing something weird and I was doing something that I perceived as giving me high status. But in reality, all I was doing was causing people to lose respect for me because I wasn't even good at computer science anyway. And listen, you do not need to feel guilty about fearing judgment. It is perfectly normal. Everyone fears judgment to some extent. It's just an evolutionary advantage. Back in the day, we needed to be accepted by our tribes in order to survive. You see, people who were in tribes could survive because they could all protect each other. Whereas people who weren't a part of tribes would get hunted and killed by predators because they had no one to protect them when they were sleeping. And because of this, we literally associated people not liking us as dying. In the book, The Chimp Paradox, Professor Steve Peters explained how this chimp part of our brain and the human part of our brain work together to cause this extreme anxiety of fear and judgment. You see, the human part of our brain has convinced the chimp part of our brain that the entire world is our tribe. And so in order to prevent us being kicked out of the tribe and dying, our chimp part of our brain tries to get us to be liked by every single person on this earth. In reality, however, it is impossible to make everyone like you. And even if you somehow did get everyone in the entire world to like you, you would be so inauthentic to yourself that you would lose all of your happiness. So the trick isn't to stop caring what people think. That's basically impossible. The trick is to only care about what the right people think of you. Making your own tribe filled with the right people and only valuing their opinions. Seeing as I grew up in a small town in Northern Ireland, there was basically no one around me who had made it in the filmmaking industry or who had done anything Hollywood related. If I had surrounded myself with people who had made it in the filmmaking industry, the likelihood of me pursuing that career would have been so much higher. The problem was that I was caring about the opinions of others who hadn't accomplished something that I wanted to do. 
The secret to harnessing the Wu Wei Win is to surround yourself with people who love that work just as much as you do. And ideally, also people who have found success with that work. Surround yourself with those types of people will be much more likely to start your work. Now in some cases, you may surround yourself with people who love that work or who have found success with that work, but are still discouraging you. In that case, those are still not the right people. <laughs> find people who love that work, who have found success in that work, and also want you to succeed. If you can find those types of people, then you have found your tribe. Only care about their opinions, and you will harness Wu Wei and literally work without any effort. Now for a lot of people watching this, moving location basically isn't possible and it comes with a lot of its own problems. But if you're watching this, then you have access to the internet, meaning that you can find other like-minded people online. Build connections with those people, text them, get in calls with them regularly. And I'm not saying you have to leave all of your current friends behind, okay? You definitely don't want to do that, especially if your tribe is online. All right, you still need personal connections in real life as well. But you simply need to accept that they probably will not understand what you enjoy. So in terms of your career at least, their opinions of you don't really matter. The only opinions that matter are others who have chosen that career. Now some people might argue that yeah, this is all great, but following your dreams usually leads to a lack of money. Actors literally have the nickname the starving actor. If you are following some type of artistic career along these lines, then it is important that you have at least one other source of income when you're starting out. However, the truly dedicated person, the person who has truly harnessed Wu Wei, will find what it takes to achieve success in that domain. In reality, the world is really just cause and effect. For you to see success in any domain, all that really needs to happen is for you to identify the exact causes that need to take place for your desired effect, success, and then execute on those causes. When you can really understand this and you can harness Wu Wei, you will achieve success so much faster than you ever thought possible. And even still, if you do understand these concepts and it still takes you decades before you see success, who cares? You're still guaranteed to live a happier and more fulfilling life doing something you love as opposed to just living for the weekends or working for money. In the book Flow, the author determines that the happiest people in the world are not the people with the most money or the people who have achieved the most amount of things. The happiest people are those who spend the most amount of time in flow state. The flow state is defined as a mental state in which a person performing some activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Basically, whenever you're doing something that you really enjoy and your focus narrows in and you stop noticing time go by, that's when you're in flow state. In my experience, the easiest way to experience flow state is by just doing work that you naturally enjoy. So remember, the only reason that you're working for money as opposed to working for something you enjoy is because you believe it will make you happier than doing work you enjoy. Well, now you have the cold hard truth. Prioritizing work that gives you intrinsic payment as opposed to monetary payment makes you happier and more fulfilled. Perhaps you shouldn't be working to live. You should be living to work. Picasso fell so in love with the process of painting that even though he was starving and had no money, he continued to do it. He literally had to burn his paintings to keep himself warm at night when he was starting out. And what do you know? Picasso would go on to achieve a net worth of $500 million and achieve legendary artist status in his lifetime, something that was incredibly uncommon for that period. I think most people watching this video already have an idea of the type of work that they would love to be doing for a living, but some maybe not so much. If you're not completely sure what it is you're passionate about yet, don't worry. Everyone has something that they can work at effortlessly. You just have to find it. Your work doesn't have to be something normal, it doesn't have to be some big moral 
purposeful thing. It can really be anything. Just go follow your curiosity, experiment with as many things as you can, and eventually you'll find something that you fall in love with. I like to think of it as going on dates with all different forms of work, till eventually you'll find the one. <laughs> you'll know you find it whenever the work you're doing feels like play. Instead of forcing your life in a direction that you think will cause other people to like you, just allow your boat to take you in the direction life already wants you to go. Sure, there may be bumps along the way, but with the Wu Wei wind on your side, you'll not only find a way to make it work, but you'll live a much more fulfilling life, as my Halle proved in his book. If you start to live in accordance with nature, you'll suddenly discover what it truly means to be alive.